Hello guys and welcome back. So in the previous sections we saw a lot about the built-in angulars decorators but now in this section we are going to create our own decorators. Okay so basically you can think of decorators as uh, some things that can add some features to the existing thing that you have. Okay so let's take an example of a laptop. You can decorate a laptop with some stickers right. So we'll do that in this section okay so we'll have a class named laptop that will be decorated with some stickers okay now uh, to just translate this thing in code we can say that there would be a class laptop that would be decorated with a sticker decorator and this decorator will essentially do something like add a property named stickers to the prototype of this class okay so let's see that in action now for that i'll first create a class so to create a class using types uh, using angular cli you can type in ng g for generate c for uh, cl for class and in a folder named classes i'm going to create a class named laptop like so Okay, so it will create a folder named classes inside the app folder like so. And now in here it created a file named laptop.ts. All right. Okay. Now let's also create a folder inside the app folder named decorators. And in here in the decorators folder, I'm going to create my first class decorator so i'll name it class dot decorator dot ts this is a naming convention that is followed by angular so you basically name a particular thing i'm going to name it class then the type of that file that is decorator and then an extension of that file that is typescript okay so now um, as we have already seen a decorator is essentially a function right so let's say i have a function i wanted to name this uh, decorator stickers okay or just sticker now what this function will do is it will receive a target now this target would be the class on which this decorator is placed or the class that is de that is decorated by this decorator okay and since we want to use it inside the laptop.ts class, I'm going to export it from here. Okay. And let's save this. And in the laptop.ts, let's decorate it with a sticker like so. Okay. Now in this, uh, in this decorator, what we are going to do is on the targets prototype, I'm going to add a stickers property and in here I'm going to add the name of names of the companies or products that that's that sticks or the, the stickers of which are present on or sticked on the laptop so github google let's say mozilla and let's also add an angular <clears throat> all right now this is the class that was decorated okay so now let's say if i use this inside my uh, parent component okay in the ng on init i'm going to create a variable named laptop which would be of type laptop that I'll have to import from its respective path here. And I'm going to new it up to an instance of laptop like so. Okay. Now I can just log something onto the console. So console.log. So I should be expecting even though this class laptop uh, right here doesn't have anything on it. But still, since I have added the stickers property to its prototype, I, sh I can expect that this laptop dot stickers would be defined on it. 
okay so now i won't be getting uh, the stickers property as of now because laptop that we have here doesn't really have a property named stickers okay so to access it and get rid of the error we'll have to use this syntax instead if i save this now and let's check if our app is running okay so the app is running and as you can see on the log we are seeing the stickers okay and this was printed from this line right here okay so this is how you can uh, basically create a very simple decorator all right and this decorator is present on the class now let's say if in the component if you can see we are passing something as an object to the component decorator okay so what if i wanted to do something like uh, instead of defining the properties right here on the sticker uh, that are hard coded inside the decorator if i wanted to pass these uh, this value of the stickers property from where i'm using it that is right here so what if i wanted to do something like stickers and the value let's say this right here what if i wanted to do right now um, it's going to give me an error it would say that unable it is unable to resolve the signature of the class decorator when the when it is called as an expression okay so to fix this we'll have to somehow change the implementation of this right here so let me just cut this now if we want this decorator to accept some arguments as well we'll have to return a function from here okay and inside this function we will be receiving a target like so this function is going to be called by angular at runtime okay but the stickers that uh, that we will be receiving would be coming in here so let me just name it configuration like so okay so what will happen now is the object that we send here would be received inside this configuration object and the target that we have here would be the class that this decorator right here sits on okay so let's save this and in the class decorator it, it's going to give me an error right now saying something okay but what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to cut this and in the configuration i'm going to set the configuration dot stickers of such sort okay and now the error is gone so if i go back and check out the console i'm still going to get the stickers on this uh, laptop class but this time instead of hard coding the stickers from here i'm fetching it or i'm expecting it from the user of this decorator right here like so okay so this is how basically you can create a class decorator and you can essentially uh, use it in in such sort of a use case okay now in the next video we will be seeing a class decorator again but this time uh, it would be for some very uh, concrete purpose so i'll see you guys in the next video bye